In this video, we're going to talk about the slope of a line, which is a topic that you need to be very, very familiar with. First off, the slope describes how steep a line is. That's in rather non-technical terms. And sometimes in word problems, we refer to slope as a rate of change. But we'll get to that a little bit later on. Let's describe different types of slope. First off, if a line goes upward from left to right, we say that it has a positive slope. If the line goes downward from left to right, we say that it has a negative slope. If a line is horizontal, then we either say there is a zero slope or we say there is no slope. In this fourth case, if we have a vertical line, then we use the word undefined, and we say there is an undefined slope. Now, there's one other place in mathematics that we refer to the word undefined, and that is when we are dividing by 0 within a fraction. And you will see that. Uh, there's a division by zero in fractions in this case also, and that's why that is the appropriate word to use in this case. Now, we're going to be looking at the slope of a line in several ways, and the first way is looking at its graph. We look at what we call its rise over run. How much has the graph risen compared to how much has the graph run from left to right? We also use the formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And when I say sub, I'm referring to a subscript here, x subscript 2 minus x subscript 1. But it's a lot easier to say x sub 2 minus x sub 1. OK, let's start by finding the slope of some lines that I'm going to draw for you. The first line I'm going to draw is going to have an x-intercept at negative 2, 0. I'll write that down up above. And the point 0, 1. So, and the point 0, 1. Now, technically, we're looking at the line segment that goes through that line. What is the slope of that line segment or the slope of the line? And we start at the leftmost point. We notice that the graph goes up 1 and over 2. So if we look at slope as m, m is the letter for slope, as rise over run, we have just risen 1 and run 2, and so the slope is 1 half. And notice how that's a positive 1 half, and this line is going upward from left to right. Let's do another one. Let's say I have the point pl a point plotted at 0, 2 and then another point plotted at, let me read this carefully, that would be 6 comma 0. My line is going to go downward from left to right, having a negative slope. And we would start at the leftmost point, go down 2 and over 6. So m would equal negative 2 sixths, which reduces to negative one-third. And if you want to look at something here, if we go down one over three, that point of down one over three is on that line segment also. So negative two-sixths, negative one-third are equivalent, but we prefer the reduced form. Now, when we have two points that are located above each other, let's say we have two negative one and two three. Let me write those here, 2, negative 1, and 2, 3. Notice how the two points are above and below each other. If you wanted to count a rise, your rise from one point to the other would be 4, but your run would be 0. There is no across movement there, and that's why we would say the slope is undefined whenever we have a vertical line. Let's do one more here. Let's go to negative 2, 4. I'll list that out. And let's make our next point be at 1, negative 1. 
So we want this line segment, or the slope of this line segment, we're going to go down from a height of 4 down to a height of negative 1, so we've gone down 5, and so our rise would be negative 5, since we went down, and the run here is going to be from negative 2 to 1, which is 3 units to the right, and so we would have a slope of negative 5 thirds on that problem. Okay, that is the skill of identifying a slope from the graph.